Weaverkids fam, welcome to my channel. My name is Mia and this is Weaverkids. Myself, not your UX designer, and I'm here to make your life a lot easier. So on today's video, we're gonna talk about design systems, the very final episode of Figma Tutorials. Yes, we're here, we're in the end of the series, we've recorded I think 7 videos till now. You can basically become a designer watching the first episode of this series till the end. This is the final episode. I'm gonna keep on adding to this series, like little bonuses, not as long as the ones that I used to post, but little bonuses so you guys can keep on growing. Let's get started with it, let's go there and let's design a design system with components, with variables, with auto layout, with everything that we've learned and yeah. I see in there. We're in Figma's environment right now. If you haven't seen the design system page setup video yet, go ahead here, watch it before coming to this one. So as you guys know, we already have the base, the page setup, everything, how it's going to look and how we're going to use it. And now we're just going to create components. For starters, for creating components like grid system and spacing there is an actual easy way for you to achieve that so for starters you could easily paste the page of design that you're using let's just paste this here okay and then based on your grid system you can easily just create the grid system that you're going to use i'm going to be using columns i want 12 columns want 80 pixel margin and I want the color to be 32 so for example this could be my um, grid or if you for example have a menu you could actually have something like this okay let's do it to the left yeah and let's just make the width a little bit bigger we're gonna have something like let's say 80 a little bit more okay so for example here if you want to add a menu to your grid as well you're just gonna click here again and add another column it's just gonna be one it's again gonna be tied to left and let's keep the gutter the offset to be 80 and the width could be the width of your menu for example whatever that is just to make sure that the spacing from your menu and your fill here is right so this could be your for example base grid line if you're using a dashboard with a menu if you're using a mobile it could look something like this and then you're just gonna click here on tree and just create a style whatever you want for example we have dashboard grid here so it could be anything you want and this will be implemented in your design after you publish it so this would be a way of creating your grid system and in order for you to create your spacing system which would be your main way of spacing your components within your design there are two ways actually but right now the best way is creating a spacing variables so you're just gonna create number variables you're gonna write down the spacing for example it's gonna be let's say spacing small it's gonna be zero and then for example more spacing you're gonna have spacing medium and it's gonna be for example eight or four whatever you're just gonna add values here of your spacing and then later on on your design if you add anything you can use these variables in order to space create the right spacing create the right amount of radius anything you want you can achieve from adding your spacing variables here so this is the baseline for spacing and grid system moving on to the colors based on the colors that you're gonna be using this is how you're going to create components from them. So again, another way would be creating a color variable here. And you could actually create a different values for light, more dark mode and all of the relevant data. Another way which is more traditional and is not the same way of using the new update is just that you're going to click on your color here. You're going to come here on the right section 
let's just make sure we're on the right color on the right section you're gonna click on style and you're gonna add your color as a style here so for example as you can see i have my dark colors here my light colors my gray scale background signals which would be like red green orange accent and white scale blue scale anything you need you can just add it here by clicking here anything you want to add you're just gonna click add here style the name of the color and ta-da you're gonna be having it if you want it to be categorized you can write for example space blue now you see i have the space category the color is blue obviously we're not gonna leave it here so and this is how you would add your the color system something that i would always suggest you on adding colors is you want to have your black and white system which would be your white scale your gray scale and your background your card background you want to add all these colors your stroke color system all of that you want to add your accent color system and then you want to add your signal colors which would be like for example error success warning and then all the other accent colors that you use in your designs this is going to be for the color section for the icons i mainly suggest you adding the icon sets that you use for your design fully here so instead of adding only the icons you used add the whole uh, color file for example if i used icon sacks here i should have added all of the files. that way you can just easily find any new icons you want and if you don't want to do that obviously you can come ahead here and create an icon by yourself by clicking on the component here i wouldn't suggest that i would just suggest to use the full icon pack from your designs but the rest would be like a small illustration on all of those you can just add it here and create a component out of it and use it and then we have fonts which based on the product that you're designing this changes sometimes the product is so big you're gonna have like 10 of these different cards sometimes it's not that big you have a bunch of headlines you have a bunch of bodies and you have like a bunch of subtitles and stuff like that this is how you're gonna use it and in order for you to create these types of texts you're just gonna click on the text let's click on it and then let's just detach it so we can use it and you're gonna click on the style here again you're gonna click on create a style and again based on your system that you created this is how you're gonna do it the easiest way would be adding for example all of the 32 pixels together and this is gonna be for example regular this is gonna be the easiest way so you have all of your 30 pixel texts and then the weight if you don't want to do that and you want to categorize it based on your headline body subtitle and all of the stuff relevant to that that's fine too but this would be the easiest way to find it to add the number slash the weight this way you're gonna have all of your 32 pixel different weights here and like for every other size that's going to be the same as well then moving on to our shadows shadows are pretty simple as well you're just going to click on the file that you created and you added the shadow and you just want to click on add create style and add your style here again you can just add different types of sizes names and all of the relevant stuff like that we already had that and then moving on to component and this is a menu item i created so for menu items something that is actually really helpful is that if you create menu items from scratch as components so you have all of these different components within the component and it's going to be super easy for you to change so you're gonna have the button you're gonna have the main menu and all of the relevant data a lot of you ask me to do a navigation component for like mobile i'm gonna do that on another video but right now let's just see how we can create a menu component so i'm just gonna just gonna do this detach the instance yeah let's say that we have this button already created as a component we're gonna come back and do this obviously but let's change that to here we have our options we have our button okay let's just delete that 
and what was it right there start a new challenge we're just gonna keep it as buttons so we wouldn't get confused in order to create the rest of the menu you want to have your headline first again that would be the best if you had this as a separate component named as title and then obviously you have your different status of all of these different cards for hover press let's see how we're gonna achieve that so for example we have the dashboard here let's just bring it back here so we have the dashboard on the selected mode let's just make sure that this is not unselected actually so i'm gonna copy the style and paste it here so we're gonna create a component with it clicking on here or the option command k whatever you're comfortable with so this is going to be our first item component from our menu so it's gonna be menu item and then next we're gonna click here and add a variant this variant is gonna be our hover so right state here and i'm gonna say hover on left side and for this one we're gonna keep it default just gonna change this property one to state so this is how we're gonna create different types of variants for our design let's just get it, get the style from here okay and then obviously both of these are our black so this one's gonna be like i'm not using the color system here but that's fine you should be using it i think i haven't done this correctly here so i i'm just gonna keep using the one that we have right here so now we have uh, this hover state and let's just click on add one more time and this state is gonna be clicked or pressed whatever you're comfortable with so i'm gonna change that and let's get rid of this let's make this bold and yeah there you have it you're just gonna click it and put it back into your menu section now the funny thing here is that if you had your type of icon here you could just easily grab it from here but since you don't have all of your icons you're just gonna go over the icons and just find them but if you have all of your icon system here it would be super easy for you to just use it from this section that i already showed you so if you had your icon system it would be easy and then let's say that we had it and we added it to all of our different designs and all of these are a component they're not but let's say they are and then obviously we want to make a component out of this one as well with the same method as i told you you're gonna click on the icon you're gonna come here we don't have it right now but if you had you could easily change the icon like this but we don't have it right now it's okay and now you have your main components within and component let's just add the title as well cool now this is your menu this is gonna be your menu section and let's just uh what is the page eight i don't know let's just delete that and now as you can see if you click on this for example card you can choose from the different states you can actually prototype this in order to give you that effect so it's gonna be while hovering states to hover instant and then after click on click change that so let's just see that on a preview for a second this is just an extra you don't need to do this on your design system but it would be helpful for you in the like future so you see on hover it's going to be shown like this and on click it's going to be changed to that so that's a minimal interaction that you can do using your prototyping within your component so that would be it for the menu obviously you can just create a component out of this and yeah if you added all of these different components to your other sections other items as well it's going to be easier for you but if you haven't you're going to have to do something like this so you would have each of the pages you see i have the page leaderboard we don't have to do that if you do what i told you here and then on the buttons we're going to do something similar again you're going to create your button and then you're going to add the different statuses your main statuses are hover pressed and disable don't forget disable disable is really important we have the primary secondary this is 
okay text button don't forget about your text buttons and then special buttons which would be buttons like this the switchers the check boxes we've already done a checkbox on the previous video go check that out as well i have that videos resource which is pro drive like a pro here with variables if you needed it if you didn't it's fine and then we have our cards so something important about the cards is that if you create again each section within a card as a component it's gonna be super easy for you to just remove it add it and do stuff like that so make sure you do that when you're creating a card and then we have our inputs which again you want to create all the different data that you might need in an input which would be title the icon and the text and then we have the selected we have field we have disabled we have one with the error and then from before when we didn't have the variables to do the light mode this is how i did the light mode so it's gonna be like this switch that could change it from light to dark so that's what we did here we have the drop downs you want to do the drop downs how they're gonna look and obviously search inputs as well this is what you're gonna add to your inputs and then on atoms i've added like all of these different tool tips and the notifications that you might need so yeah that's pretty much it that sums it up basically whatever you want to create make sure you create a component from each of it from the button to the header to the card itself so that would be the easiest way for you to continue on adding or removing data from your component cards and then finally if you have this on a file that is in the same team as another file you can just easily publish it and then you're going to be able to use it in all of your different files in the assets section so it's going to show up on something like this on another file as atoms buttons inputs colors and all of the different relevant data i hoped you enjoyed this let me know if you want me to jump specifically in creating one kind of component that could be a card i'm gonna do the navigation mobile app navigation for you and then if you needed anything else just hit me up and that's it for this video a lot of you guys have joined to my channel within this series i'm gonna keep up the good work i'm gonna keep teaching you all the valuable things that i know make sure you're gonna stay here for the next videos and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this one make sure you leave a thumbs up leave a comment are you gonna miss this series just let me know what you think about this and yeah that's pretty much it this series was so hard but i'm glad we did it and i'm glad that you're the designer you are now after this series. Great job. I'm gonna see you in the next video and bye!